When the automobile was first developed, they had no brakes whatsoever. As time progressed into the teens, we had rear brakes using a mechanical band around the drum applied by the driver's foot through a metal rod. As time progressed, we started seeing front brakes. The very first brakes were drum brakes. This is a 1931 Ford Model A with drum brakes all the way around. Very similar to what we have today with expanding shoes inside of a drum to stop the vehicle. However, this vehicle did not use any hydraulics. It used mechanical rods to accomplish this purpose. Modern brakes are very similar, however, they are applied by hydraulic pressure inside of a rubber hose. This technology is very reliable if it's properly maintained and regularly inspected. The latest development in brake systems is an evolution of what we have today. Today, we have a rotating wheel with a rotor and brake pads and a caliper squeezing those pads around that rotor to stop the vehicle using hydraulic liquid pressure. The newest development over in Germany that's being worked on is called EWB, Electronic Wedge Brake Systems. And this technology uses electric motors as opposed to hydraulic fluid to squeeze those pads around that rotating rotor. The advantages are plenty. You can do away with the conventional master cylinder, which is where your foot applies the hydraulic force because there's no more hydraulic force. It's electric being accomplished by a sensor under your brake pedal electronically with a computer controlling the function. So this does away with the master cylinder, the ABS, anti-lock brake system computer. It does away with all the metal lines that often rust and it does away with the rubber hose. However, that rubber hose has to be replaced by a wire harness that will be required to rotate as the wheel goes around turns. That wire harness will have to be reg regularly inspected and maintained, but this will greatly reduce the weight of the vehicle and the complexity. This technology can give us normal braking in all four corners, but it can also adapt to variable braking around high-speed turns if the outer wheels can accept more braking, or during a panic stop, we want more force to the front wheels. It also electronically incorporates ABS, and stability control.